Well, uh, the last run wasn't that good. You know what the problem is? Balatro keeps turning up the heat, but I, I got my fan pointed in the wrong direction. A lot of people would tell you not to start a YouTube video like that. I'm assuming at this point that you are here for the slice of life and the little slice of... I was trying to think of a, a card game related pun. I could not think of one. Spectral cards appear in the shop. Start with a hex card. Let's let's give it a try. Let's mix it up with the other decks. You can play yellow deck or green deck, green deck as the day is long. You know what I'm thinking. <laughs> you do. Shop has a rare joker. So we can get rare polychrome. I'm just being realistic. If we make it rare, there's no reason to make it foil, because if we make it foil, we can't make it polychrome, right? Maybe? So I think we skip blind one, try to do well enough on blind two that we have enough money. I know what I'm saying. Everybody just chill out. Eight, can, can, can we stop drawing kings and, and more eights here? It's getting ridiculous. There we go, eight, nine, 10, jack, queen. Start drawing more money, or start drawing better cards, play them faster, get higher score, more money equals we get to buy the rare joker, and then we apply hex to it, and then we structure our entire run around um, this one little synergy that we got in the early game, no matter how poorly it serves us as we move forward. This is the way, as they say. This is the way. Okay, I was going to play for a straight. Instead, we're going to play for... Mm, I was hoping for full house, and we got full house, so I got a little scared there. Me, when I'm in 1994, when I'm turning on the television. Every time, bro. It's every day, bro. Driver's license, a, a good joker. And now it has polychrome, so it's at least molting our molt. It turns out you can triple stamp a double stamp. That's an insanely good get early, too. The problem is we now have to get 16... Like, I, I don't think this is bad. In fact, I think it's it's really good. But we got to get 16 enhanced cards into the deck as soon as possible. I know what you're going to say. NL, this sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> sounds a little bit like your last run. Yeah, and what happened on the last run, smart guy? We finally got it and then everything fell apart. Oh, yeah, thanks for reminding me. All right, that was not my finest performance there. But this time could be different, maybe. Anyway, we shouldn't cry either way. It's only anti one. It would just be, it would go crazy to get a Joker that just adds Malt. This is, it, it's not the best thing you're ever gonna see. I'd love to buy the Spectral card, don't get me wrong, but uh, this, this adds Malt, it gives us something to think about. We can now play Spades. It doesn't have to be a Flush, it could be any Spade. And then all of these Spades that get played will give us Molt, which will then be multiplied by 1.5, which in my personal opinion is enough. I mean, I guess it's math, so opinion doesn't need the factor in that much. I feel like math is one of those subjects where opinion probably starts to factor in very heavily once you get well beyond my area of familiarity. Hand size goes crazy. Like, if I ever have to get into a discussion about, like, my personal theories on mathematics, it's already over. We absolutely need to convert cards. And let's... I, people are of two minds about this. Let me give you my reasoning. People might say, hey, NL, steel cards are good if you don't play them. So why not put it on a non-spade? Because you're more likely to play spades because you have Wrathful Joker. Well, in my head, maybe it's a little overly ambitious. I'm like, I want to cut everything out of my deck right now that's not a spade. So I want to put steel on a spade. Worst case scenario, I play it for extra points. Best case scenario, I'm not sitting there with like a, a diamond steel three in my hand going like, well, I can't get rid of it because it's like, uh, it's steel. But it's, again, I acknowledge it's, it's probably overly ambitious. Look at the straight potential, bro. It's, is this the, this is the big blind? Well, in this case, put that bad boy down and put this bad boy down. Make sure you're playing all the spades. Now, I don't know how much longer this will hold. Like, it's not a, a dynamite combo. But if we could get Econ going... I mean, you want to spend... I mean, one discard is kind of nice, too, but... 
I think I, I, m m me personally, spend four bucks, add an enhanced card. Now this is the exact situation we didn't want, but at least it does increment this. And then basically for six bucks, we're buying a random rare Joker. I don't think there's a better way to swing it. Campfire. Every time a card is sold, and it gives plus 10 molt, which means we're getting 15 molt minimum out of the 10 times the 1.5. Um, every time we sell a card, Campfire temporarily gets a lot stronger, but then after the boss fight, it, it disappears. Or the, 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 the Joker doesn't disappear, but the effect goes back down to times one. Me personally, we know we're going to sell Seltzer at some point. Give me Misprint for some flat, if unreliable, mult. Um, that again will, will help us out a lot. Play only one hand. You know what? I think we skip again because this will give us some enhanced cards. Holy cow, what is the poly, polychrome gold? We have to put It's a, the craziest looking card I've ever seen. And then again, I, I hate to add non spades, but we need enhanced cards for, for driver's license. Currently three. Obviously, I've made a mistake. <laughs> so with Seltzer, playing spades will go absolutely insane right now. To make Seltzer last as long as possible, we may wish to... I mean, like I, I personally feel like a spade flush gets us there in one shot. So I'm, I'm trying to draw like gold cards or something just to have some extra money. That's why I'm burning my discards. This could mean that Seltzer lasts for like 10 rounds which gives us enough time to build up our Econ to possibly have enough enhanced cards to get driver's license off the ground and ergo, you see what we're doing here. So don't give me a spectral pack this time. I know we don't get anything for doing the, the small blinds, but by doing this, we'll get the interest, we'll get another shop, the shop will give us the opportunity to get enhanced cards, etc., etc. I, I think we have the this the safety net that it can allow us to go thermonuclear next. So we really don't care for uh, Hex. We don't need to sell Seltzer yet to activate Campfire. I will take the Arcana pack. I would love to get like um, Temperance, but if, with no Temperance, I'm not going to cry. No enhanced cards either. I will, uh, I'll take eight bucks. It's not 20, but it's okay. I mean, one hand per round is good, but I, I think I, the earlier I could get driver's license off the ground, like the happier I would be. So I, I apologize. Maybe I'm, I'm tossing out some more interesting hands. What a, what a cool looking card, man. I'm enamored with this card. It's, it's acted. I've got neuron activation. Monkey brain style. So we, we're discarding all sorts of gas. <laughs> Sorry. But look at this, man. Three bucks if it's held in hand. Seltzer was like the perfect thing for us because we're also going to sell it in six rounds or something and then we'll get a little extra enabler on Campfire. Now, I'll tell you, Campfire, I think for me, you got to... This is still a fairly complicated run even though playing the hands right now is really simple. One thing that can really pop with Campfire is if you can get a discount in the shop... There's two vouchers that I've seen that give you discounts. So you can go like progressive. Uh, I think you can get 25 and then 50. At that point, you can buy planet cards for one and then sell them for one. So you just buy a card, sell a card, buy a card, sell a card, buy a card, sell a card every time you see them. And then like campfire increments like crazy. The problem is you can never stop because as soon as you beat the boss blind, you got to start doing it all over again. But listen, <sighs> I'm going money. I thought about going straight for the enhancements, but, but 40 bucks is mighty tempting. And, and while we're here, you can call me a coward if you want. I don't know what to level. I'm going to level three of a kind. I was really hoping to see Jupiter. For three bucks, you got to send it. And I think, forget about this. Let's indeed take our one hand per round. It, it'll come in handy at some point. Pun not intended. Okay, spade cards are debuffed. That's horrendous. <laughs> Not good, um, for sure. That's pretty bad. I was trying to... Well, there's really... N Listen, you could sell this to get a 1.5 multiplier increase. That seems crazy to me. We know we're going to be dumping spades. 
I think we try for a heart flush. And like everything we play, I was just gonna say, it, it relies on these steel cards. So thankfully we got a second steel card and then misprint is another very important trigger for us. So a, a plus three molt from misprint is not what you wanna see. I really want to play our Polychrome card. I think you play it, and you play it at the end because it's a Molt Increaser. We, we do have to play the Steel card to make this full house work, but we're getting the extra 1.5 from playing Polychrome as well. And it gets triggered twice. Okay, so I, honestly, I hate to burn like all the, all the gas out of the Seltzer. It's going to be flat LaCroix, but that was, that was spooky, man. So hey... Things are on sale. This is an important enabler eventually for campfire. Gold seal to a card in hand. Huge with seltzer. Uh, and we go next. I know you're going to say you got to buy some planet cards. I don't, I, I don't disagree, good sir. I don't disagree. Obviously, we have a full house already. I just... I, and we've drawn none spades. <laughs> I really feel like to maximize seltzer, we have to... We have to go for a spade flush that could let seltzer pop in one hand and thus have it available for the next hand. And I know you're going to say NL. That's like your tunnel visioning. This might be one of the only games I've ever played and my results speak for themselves in the mediocrity department on this one, unfortunately. So I'm kind of like undermining my own point. But I think tunnel visioning in Bellatro is not always a bad idea. We still only have... Four enhanced cards, huh? On the bright side, on the bright side, we're sure generating a lot of gold seals, which is getting us extra triggers. Have you noticed this? Once again, we've drawn none spades in hand one, which seems, uh, and hand two, which seems impossible. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're really going to discard a flush to try to get a flush? It's crazy, but I do think it's that much better. But it has... We've fallen on our face. Give me queen queen. I'm not gonna play seven seven. I'll throw two I'll throw five two seven alongside it. This is gonna be a horrible hand, obviously. And you got two left. We really need to this stings. <laughs> um I'm gonna put a gold seal on this nine. I'm hoping 7, 8, 9, 10 jack with the double trigger on the spade is going to be enough to get us so that we can use seltzer. Oh, no. Well, we might we have to sell it. You sell it now, so at least you get the extra benefit out of this and some money. And we should be fine. It's just like, a, you know, it's not the ideal time for it to, to break, obviously. I mean, I, the, the problem now is we need a little extra enabling we sh should be fine <laughs> right guys 10 jack queen king ace i understand that there's a steel card being played here but all right i think it's clear we have to use our money for something we need help and it's not going to be a free reroll it's not going to be something economics pilled Times 1.5 molt while this card stays in hand. Oh, it's, oh it's just, it is just steel, but also because it's hollow. I got mind freaked on it. Another steel card, but when discarded, it gives a purple seal. So a tarot card. I think we'll take that. And I, I guess we should be buffing flush again if they would be so kind as to ever give me the opportunity to do so. Common, common. Clubs give plus eight molt when scored. I'm literally buying it just to use it for the, for the boss fight. <laughs> well, that obviously it's not going to work. At least we can sell it and then we get extra molt, but it's going to be a little touchy in here. Um, again, I'm I'm stunned. Like, look at look at this deck, bro. We got 13 spades in the deck. Like, you'd expect to draw a few less than some other suits, but I mean, like, they're they're really bending me over on this one very good very good very good very good very good it's a very nice time to have three steel cards in hand imagine if our flush had just leveled up a couple of times via some jupiters you gotta love these like four steel cards 
I think we... It's a bit of a crazy play. I feel like you discard to get the tarot card and just see what you pull off it. And I... I hate to play all these steals, but like... It's... I, I, I choose to look at it a different way. Rather than like, oh, you shouldn't play the steals, I'm like, I'm happy that so many of my cards are steal. So that sometimes I can play them and be like, oh, I've still got a few in my hand. Then I'm not, I'm not sweating it as much. So I think we definitely like... And again, we're, we're really... This would be a great time to add a bunch of enhanced cards. So th this is a combo that can do that for us, and I would... We, we want wild cards now that I think about it, because we, we're making spade flushes as much as possible. We could use a joker that does something. A... There's a lot to possibly like here. <laughs> I think four fingers. I hesitate now. I, I think something happened. We, we just don't want to add a basic card. Sure. Something happened where like I got two endless pilled. And instead of just like, oh, I just want to make it to round eight and win. Now, instead, I'm like, I have to think about what Endless is going to look like in the future. And it's dangerous. Let's cut clubs. Um, it's, it's dangerous because sometimes you need like those flat score enablers to help you live long enough. I should use this, by the way, um, to help you live long enough to get your endless combos popping. Like the endless should be the, the most important thing. Now, I personally think you could duplicate this and that's great financial sense. We could also duplicate wild for easier flushes. I think you duplicate this because flushes should already be pretty easy as long as we're holding four fingers. So you dump your clubs. Play four of these. You could you could always throw a fifth because it'll score as a spade anyway. Wait, did I even what did, what was I gonna make wild? Why don't we make the king wild? It's a club. Now it's not a club. And now we have halfway to perfectly enhanced as all things should be. How how was that hand so bad? Like, did we get fleeced on on misprint or something? I I might have to. I might have to sell some cards, bro. I'm scared. You, I, you got it. You got to dump it. You got to dump it. You got to dump it. You know what you're trying to make here. One. We can sort by suit, obviously. But then, yeah, one, two. We need three wild cards. I don't think we have three wild cards. So it's going to be dump, 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 dump. Trust me, I'm really trying not to lose. Because I know the, the schadenfreude of losing a... Uh, of losing a flush build. Like, people, they would never recover. Hi, honey. Let me put it on pause for a second here. All right, gamers, we were, we're back. What the heck were we doing? Uh, <laughs> so hard game to rejoin. We were making four piece flushes, preferably with spades. But we're really, we're praying, we're praying for big misprints and we got one there. That was pretty good. Uh, we might be cooked, Lance. I suppose now that I think about it, we also could make a 10-piece or a, a 4-piece straight. Which is a, a at least leveled up one. Oh my gosh, we got there. So what, why are we getting so cooked here? We need, we need score. Reliable score. We've already gone through the... Um, Listen, you just got to get online or we got to decide that, well, but you already give 10 molt by yourself. I, I'm so happy with everything we have and it's frightening to me. I think we got to dump misprint. Take arrowhead, which continues to make spades even better for us. And then just like tunnel vision, man, on getting like some enhanced cards. This is a wild card. That's an enhancement. Seven more to go. Uh, we are playing flushes. Straight flush might come to pass. Now, I know I say that, and many times we, we don't get it to come to pass, but still. Go ahead, call me, call me a bad person for this one. I really don't think... 
It's hard. Well, you know what? <laughs> Send it, brother. <laughs> that's, I think that's awesome, even though it comes with a negative hand size. Because now we have four fingers with, like, no excuse. You know what I mean? Now we don't have to be like, oh, at some point we got to sell it for a score joker. Because we have, we have something already. We have two hearts. Let's throw the diamond then. So spades should be, like, super awesome for us now. Because of Arrowhead. That was pretty good. You're a wild card. We do have a heart flush. But we could also discard, get a tarot card. Tarot cards mean like faster enhancements. Okay. That, that, that we're, we're talking. No, we're talking. So you guys, you constitute a flush. So let's molt you up. Dump you. Oh, that's still okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fine. That's fine. Toss it, bro. Toss it. And toss, yeah, I guess I wouldn't toss a club in this situation. Okay, as we keep enhancing cards. Not only do we eventually get the molt, but we also get the benefit of the enhancements on the cards, which is great in and of itself. Okay, you can't not buy Blueprint. So the question becomes, what's more valuable? The molt from Wrathful Joker or the, the, or the chips from Arrowhead, but it's it's got to be one of the two, or possibly the times 1.5 and plus 10 here. I don't know. I got to think about it. But we're definitely at the point we should be buying, like, everything. <laughs> Can only choose one. Doubling money's... It's either doubling money or enhancing one card. I know we got to enhance, but I'm kind of snoozing on one card. Hey, any any chance at any point in our lives you could possibly give us uh, a Jupiter? And I'm not even talking about, like, to act more stupider. So I, I bought and sold just to increment our our multiplier a little bit here. I'm still a little scared. Like, I don't, I don't feel like we got this one locked. Why did I think that I had a flush here? You dump it? You're, you're, you're breaking me here. Come on, don't local thunk, don't do this. You've been very rude to me lately, not as a person. <laughs> I'm not trying to create drama. As, as, a, as a game developer, your game has been cruel to me lately. Now let's see. Let's see how this works with the blueprint on the campfire. It's definitely gonna be good enough, so we respect that. Okay, I'm sorry I said all that messed up stuff about you personally attacking me. I'm joking, I'm joking. I just feel like it's personal anytime I lose in Balatro, okay? That's my own personal Michael Jordan-esque complex. I'm not comparing myself to Michael Jordan in you know, the domain of our talent. I would say he's the Michael Jordan of basketball and I'm like the Michael Jordan of Balatro. After he came back and played for the Washington Wizards. He might have still been good for all I I wasn't really following basketball. Especially the Washington Wizards. Uh, let's 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 make another wild card, and we'll make it out of a club, which basically removes a club. Is a two, but life goes on. Reroll boss blind. We'll we'll do it if we have to. We can always buy it later. And I think we're we're re at this point we're competing for shops. It's, it seems like it's way too hard for me to make a spade flush. Don't I have 3,000 spades in my deck? So Arrowhead is doing great work for us. It's nice to get the extra money. We're, we're, as many shops as we can get to is exactly what we wish to do. <laughs> what? Okay, here's a crazy hand for you. Throw the steel card. Plays two of a kind, but the polychrome gets played, which means that it counts for another times 1.5. It's not an amazing hand, but it could be worse. Now, you're a freaking wild card, bro. I see that we have a straight. I'm not really, like, super compelled by the straight, I suppose, but we got to do something. It also allows us to throw the seven, so we have better flush potential in the future. It sucks to lose the planet, but apparently Jupiter's been deleted. I said deleted. <laughs> apparently Jupiter's been deleted from the game regardless. We are an anti-seven of eight, so, like, this is a, it's a great opportunity, man. An enhanced card. I'll, I'll take an enhanced wild card to make flushes better. And please, God, some Jupiters. 
Um, there's a wild king. I'm going to keep it very simple, okay? We are now at 14 enhanced cards. Destroy five cards in hand, gain $20. You okay, Tomo? He's all right. He's chilling. We don't even have that many spades, man. <laughs> if you could destroy a hand... It's very prospective, okay? If you could destroy a hand of non-spades... Am I insane to think you'd be you'd be chilling? Now let me let me take a look at how this looks, okay? It's a full house. Full houses have been leveled up. That sucked. That was horrible. Um, this is like pretty good, even though we are tossing a steel card alongside it. I don't know if we'll ever get the chance to use this immolate, bro. I'm just kind of don't say it. Don't say we're cooked. <laughs> we got three discards left. All right. Plenty of spades in the deck, even if that is the thing I just complained about, is that we don't have a whole lot of spades in the deck. Let's throw a five-card spade flush to get maximum arrowhead and wrathful joker benefits. You should not be here, brother. You should be there, probably. We have another... I haven't done a good job of diagnosing whether chips would be better or or malts. But because malt is getting multiplied, it feels better. I think it, I think it worked. <laughs> now here's the thing. Can I get 1500 off of this? Maybe it's a little It's a little much. Obviously I see that we have a a flush. We have we have many flushes, I suppose. A flush is 35 times 4. With another 1.5x on the malt as a result of this. I'm so tempted, though, to just discard, destroy five cards and gain 20 bucks, but I don't think we should be stupid. And the two might also count as a spade. It does, okay. Can I also tell you I moved the arrowhead instead of the blueprint? Like, what, what is going on here? I'll, I'll take high card. You never know. Like, we, we've been playing a lot of Dookie lately. <laughs> I'll definitely take this. A spectral pack, please. Heal me. Create two copies of a selected card. You are now enabled. I can't believe it. We got there. Jumbo Celestial, save me. Save me, Jumbo Celestial. No Jupiters exist. We got to actually start thinking about playing full houses. And if the full houses are full of spades, like, that's okay. Diamonds are debuffed is, like, irrelevant. But we should note that that will make wild cards worse. As you can see. So we may not want to play a Lovers right away. It's so nice, though. Oh, you know what? We got to... Something we're going to discard. I'm going to make it wild anyway. So we have the space for the tarot card when we discard the eight. Devil. Enhance into a gold card. We may find a use for it. We have a flesh. We do. I would say play it. Blueprint is on Wrathful Joker. Let me look at this hand real quick as it comes up. So both molten chips were like the same. So I don't know how to interpret that data. <laughs> I don't, I don't know whether to put Blueprint on Arrowhead or put it on Wrathful Joker. I'm, I'm compelled to put it on Arrowhead. Because now I'm thinking it would... Well, it would take 20 off the mold, but it would basically double the number of chips when we play a Spade Flush. For now, I'm going to play Full House, though. And I almost, like... I want to draw Trash, so we got a good excuse to play Immolate. We could always sell Immolate for more Molt on Campfire as well. But, like, it... We're in a position where we, we could do... Well, I don't think Endless maybe is in our future, but we could do well for now. And I gotta be honest, I think tarot cards are kind of the way to, to scale here. Hi, Tomo. You okay, buddy? So we're cutting, like, 
We're trying to cut clubs from the deck, but none clubs exist. I love creating more steel, uh, purple seal cards. And at some point, maybe we'll actually end up holding them in hand instead of discarding for tarot. But I mean, discarding for tarot is it's not nothing. And I'm actually like pretty content with what we have. Don't really want to add any of those. Not, not even the spade. Like, uh, just a basic card at this point, I kind of snooze it. Okay, first things first, let's try to win. Don't worry so much about... Will we, you know, beat Anti-12 or something like that? Just to get back on the horse and have a good chance to, to beat Anti-8 is nice. Okay, definitely feels like... Why, why do I complicate things? This is uncommon, this is common. Buff the uncommon. <laughs> It never fails. You're literally going to be right every time. The Arcana pack. We do want more spades. That's a given. But brother, let it rip. <laughs> I regret everything. What you got for me here? All cards become a random rank minus one hand size. Add polychrome to one selected card in hand. Get ready to be times 1.5. Get ready to be plus 50 chips, brother. Planets appear more often. If we could start buying flushes yesterday, that would be awesome. Full house, okay? I see you. I see you out there, full house. I would buy for two, sell for one, and now we've at least got campfire cooking a little bit here. Listen, we got a lot, like... There's a lot of special jokers that we're having to pay attention to here. <laughs> I wish that it was... Uh... I wish I had the tools to run this uh, and, and get every Joker doing it exactly the best thing it could possibly do, but that may be unrealistic. But we're going to beat Anti-8 even with my hobbled mental, apparently. That's nice. It's ni I think let's accept that has to be done. We're never going to find the right time to use it. There's always going to be too much, too much like loss aversion. Um, I'm going to make this Ace Wild. I mean, we're only playing it for spade flushes anyway, so maybe that's not the right play, but at least we have a wild gold seal. I guess we'll be buff. Why? Maybe we're playing full houses exclusively. What do I know? Pluto Mercury? I mean, I'm, I'm a simple man. Basically, for a dollar, you're getting plus 0.5x malts. I know it's a little confusing. All cards debuffed until one Joker sold. You piece. It has to be Wrathful Joker. It pains me. It pains me. It does. But, like, we could still go spades. We could get Wrathful Joker back if the game's going to last a while. Um, can I do something insane? Let's turn this five into another super eight. And then discard two of those on this hand. Might as well keep the spade. Get two tarot cards. <laughs> oh, sell the sun to buff campfire. Use death to turn a club into another eight. Hang on. And that, I'm so glad I didn't sell campfire. Then discard, discard, discard. It doesn't really matter. Tower and sun. Sell the sun. Sell the tower. And then play spade flushes, bro. We still have a benefit to spade flushes because of arrowhead. Sorry, Tomo, I didn't know you were you were on my footrest, buddy. Okay, so we, we made it. Take me to endless. Hold. I'm I don't think we got like really great multiplicative. Holy cow, level two flushes it happened. I don't think we've got like really great multiplicative score potential. But you never know. We could we could ramp. And I mean look at this. This is exactly what we want to see, right? Like we must have we have 20 hearts. Let's convert this into this then. Because we're generating so many tarot cards we can either use for value or sell for campfire. Please, God, more Jupiters. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe at some point we'll play a straight flush. The, the, as soon as you start saying that, you already know it's over. I keep buying blank, having no concept of what it does. You know what? For three bucks, I bet, um, I bet we can play a gold seal card and get enough value out of this. So we already got the flush, but we really want to see tarot cards, man. That's that's exactly what we want to see right there. So discard, discard, discard. Hierophant gets two bonus cards. 
We should make spades in the bonus cards or sell it. Then discard, 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 discard. Fool gives us another hero font. I could save the fool for a more valuable situation, I think. I think this will be like a pretty good hand in and of itself. Yeah, it's not the best hand I've ever seen, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. So I think that what we really have to not lose sight of is we have to sell a lot of cards before blinds in order to get campfire popping. Yeah, and this is like you, you, you buy and you sell. And then you look for enhanced cards. Uh, uh, more purple seals, the merrier. And I think you buy and you sell. Like for $1, incrementing that molt is huge. You buy and you sell. And we could even buy and sell jokers, like uh, cheap ones at least. We're, we're not playing four of a kind in all likelihood. Which is a shame because it would actually be like <laughs> really high score probably, but okay. And then we play spade flushes. We drink, we know things, and we play spade flushes. Tyrion Lannister if he played Balatro. I feel so back right now. High Priestess creates two planet cards. Okay, check this out. Fool to Hierophant. Turn two unbuffed spades into bonus cards. You can't be bonus and wild. Okay, so like I mean, we might as well burn them on, on a diamond just to have it. Then you create two planet cards. One of them's Jupiter, that gets used. The other one's Mars, that gets sold. And all of a sudden, we're, we're cooking with some serious multi here. Then you discard. For two more tarot cards, you sell the tower, and if you see an opportunity to use the Empress, even even for one card, I say you use it. No need to get impatient here. We have none discards left. Okay, then we'll play. We'll play the best hand we can. And what do we want to re-trigger? Probably Molt at this point. We already got a lot of chips coming out because of the the blueprint arrowhead. I'm starting to see the vision. Now, Mega Celestial, more Jupiters goes crazy. Unfortunately, despite being the biggest planet, it's the hardest to find. Make it make sense. I mean, you, you have to use it, unfortunately. I don't know why, I mean, I, I think that's irrelevant. I'm not gonna spend too much time worrying about the choice. Now, Hanging Chad has been kind of good. I guess you just send it. It is an extra large blind. You can always sell it if things get tough. Super stoked to see two tarot cards right off the bat, though. I'm sorry for the four. It's just, I mean, it is wild, but it's just, it's just not going to get played, man. I'm sorry to say it. And honestly, at this point, we're selling you. Everything's already, like, molted up. I guess we should play, play. <sighs> Do you want you to get 50 chips? I guess we want play, 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 play. It's a flush, toss a club. We get double triggers on some stuff here, which gives us a bunch of extra chips. It was still a really good hand. I, I honestly thought it was going to be a lot worse than that. And then we've got at least one spade. That Oh, we got two spades that have no bonuses justifying its existence sell a judgment for the space i'm just not i'm not willing to get rid of anything else right now i'm sorry to say it but it's true we get star which will sell temperance which we'll use and all of a sudden like i don't even know what i'm looking at anymore <laughs> but i like it i think i like it okay but everyone knows listen anti nine is uh that's just the beginning. Things get a lot tougher now. Planet cards appear 4x frequently. That would be nice. Both of these have their their place, I think. Let's get more planets. Like buying more flushes is one way out of the out of the jam for us. It would be insane if at some point, like I literally, listen, we played 26 flushes, Jupiter's level three. The fact that we're alive is a miracle. I would sell Hierophant. We already have a lot of bonus cards. Buy Venus, sell Venus. Buy Aura to make a card Polychrome. And then probably just send it. 
because we do want to like if you're not doing anything i love turning you into extra tarot cards for us and then i mean we might as well make something Polly. can you be wild and put no you're already maybe you can do we want to if we wanted to lose anything i guess we don't mind losing molt to make you foil hollow or polychrome because we really do want it to be on a spade oh it just it goes on over top even better then you discard 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 two new tarot cards moon is getting sold uh i feel like strength it's just like i don't really see how we use it to be honest because we're we're so tunnel visioned on like a different line now, Hero Font, if you see unbuffed spades, you use it. Otherwise, you sell it. And again, that increments our multi. I mean, something's happening on this run. Cut two diamonds. You might as well discard your eight because you're probably about to win. Star, sell the diamond. <laughs> I mean, this is something's cooking, brother. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We do need 560,000 points, and that's no joke. Never mind. Surely at this point, like, Blueprint should be on campfire, right? We can test it for one hand, and if it if it's garbage, then we just bail. Hermit is a use. Chariot makes a steel card. I think we the more steel cards, the merrier. If the whole deck was steel, I would love it. You know, remember, we have to use this. Given that we have to use it, I feel like rather than destroying two cards it's much more important like even just getting one polychrome joker on a joker we already like would go huge now death obviously goes insane let me look at this real quick clubs are the suit to cut i've looked at that a thousand times we're doing spade flushes why do we have so many freaking hearts then <laughs> I really should have been turning hearts into spades, but, but the one, the card we want is a heart, so... 50 chips, we snooze on that. Saturn is a, well, first, buy and use. Saturn is a buy and a sell. Jupiter is a buy and use. That in and of itself is so good for us. You may hear some screaming. I promise you, my child is looked after right now. She's not just going haywire, you know, in the... Garbage disposal upstairs. <laughs> Normal people are like, you didn't have to say that. But I'm like, trust me. There's some people who are like, is he really recording while his kid is just running amok? No, she's chilling. Don't worry. That's just what a chill three-year-old sounds like. It's, it, but I, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised that we haven't drawn uh, enough spades. Now we do, but we don't want to play this one. Well, actually, we, we just played this, 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 and this. But first... First, you dump this, this, and this to get tarot cards. That stinks. I was, I was thinking that was a possibility. So let's, let's glass up this. If it breaks, it breaks. Create two planets. None of them are Jupiter. I'll, honestly, I don't know the next time we're going to play a full house, but I know we're not going to play a straight. You're at times 5.5 mult. So here's our tester. I don't really want to play the steel card. I guess I discarded something I shouldn't have. And you, you're a wild card. Obviously, you're a steel card. We want, to, we want the molt card to be doubled up on, I think. Why did... Oh, you know, it took your wild away when I made you glass. That's what I did wrong there. Okay, so I basically made you useless. It seems like as long as campfire is incremented, it seems like it makes sense to, to give the buff to campfire then. Double listed probabilities. I mean, for a dollar, you buy and sell that any day of the week. You buy and sell that as the day is long. Fool gives you an earth. Honestly, can I tell you? It's nice to have money, but at some point you need score. Welcome back to the Frey King. I've, I've made up for my earlier mistake. Another Jupiter. You don't even understand. If I could get like 12 Jupiters, there is a chance for us. I didn't even see what the boss blind was, bro. Play only one hand for 500 and six, Dude, we can do that. I don't even have to spend 10 gold on the reroll. I, it's like famous last words, but I don't want to roll into something worse, you know? So you're like a crazy card to trigger first. 
can dump all this. The, the death card... I, I'm a simple man when it comes to the death card. We create more tarots because the tarots have insane value, either for incrementing campfire or for... Um, well, mo let's be honest, mostly for incrementing campfire. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. But also, like, uh, you know, you, they, they could help you make a hand in a pinch. So I think we, we must have it right now. I'm not even going to use Fool yet, because I'd rather use it with another death card. I should have used, should have created a death card to use on another eight, but... Okay, so this, this is, this is fantastic. We want chips or molt? You want to add molt to this bad? But maybe, like, I get scoring the money is something that's going to be appealing, but I think we want it like this. So level five flush with our best cards. Our molt is going to get triggered twice. I'd say also the great... Th beating anti-10 is no joke, by the way. I know we're all getting flabbergasted by, uh, you know, billion and trillion point hands and stuff like that, but, like, that, that's not every run. To just come out here and, and be able to toss a uh, an anti-11 chance out here, that's something, man. It's something special. I, I, I wasn't sure if that's where we're going to go. Also, two spectral packs in the shop. Very interesting. Red seal? I mean, red seal on a molt card would go insane. And we're not going to destroy all the jokers. We're not going to convert them all to one suit. Can Will this... Will this cannibalize something no we get two. Oh my god okay i mean oh my god maybe wasn't that necessary there i get that we could like fool this up as well but i think we can do better with our tarot cards honestly let's let's give you a gold seal i don't think it's that amazing but it's it's something and then another spectral pack Red seal on a on a multi card is very good. Two extra copies of of like this would you'd never have to worry about money again. Minus two hand size, but an extra Joker space. All right, buddy. <laughs> I'm not willing at this point. I don't think I'm willing to take two hand size away. And I'm not destroying cards. So I I think if anything. We just go red seal on another multi card and then be very careful about the order in which you play things. It's a nice buy sell. Now you're you're at 2.5. We'd like to get that a little higher. Obviously, I, I feel great that we've gotten flush a little off the ground now. We could even Jupiter. You know what? It's probably a sensible play. Take flush to level seven, and then we go next. Now what the heck are we doing? We are playing. Spade flushes, same as it ever was. This is exact. I know we got four of a kind eights. Here's what I think of your four of a kind eights, buddy. Thanks for the two tarot cards. Thanks for the free increment. Thanks for the two tarot cards. I don't know which of these cards can be lucky with, like, without being destroyed. <laughs> Wait, hang, hang on, hang on. Okay, like I think we go play seven first. Then 10, 10, 2. It's a flush. With a huge, like, multi-enabler up at the front. Let's see how our score looks here. We need 7.2 million. I didn't even glance at that first. That was a 5.8 million point hand. That's crazy talk. Okay, I mean, I, I would destroy you. I could also sell you for more mult, but I literally just did. <laughs> I'll turn you into a lucky card. And then I'm, I might as well discard two of you. I want spade flushes. We don't need all these steel cards right now. Empress and Sun. So you're sold. Honestly, you might as well be sold at this point. We're not playing anything that's not a spade. Strength. I really don't think we have a purpose for this. We don't have a spade flush, which is like heartbreaking. But I mean, we got so many hands, bro. Let it fly. Look at all these steel cards. Okay, that's not as good as it needed to be, of course. <laughs> Five, Jack, King. Okay, we, we have it now. 
This will change everything. Flushes will never be the same. We can't beat 300 million. I don't know if that's going to be a controversial statement. And this run, I'll just level with you. It's kind of annoying the pilot because of all the buying and selling. It's like the opposite of SAP. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, the more you duplicate these eights, they, yes, you don't want to draw them for scoring hands, but they like, they, they pay for themselves with the value of the tarot cards so quickly. I love a red seal. I'm not afraid to see who knows. Okay, 14 million and you start with none discards. Obviously, we're going to play this even though upgrading our flush would be nice. Red seal on a chipped up king. Like, don't mind if I do. You're, you're holdable in a flush type situation. But we don't need the... Well, we should hold you because we're probably going to... Well, you, you got to think about it. Now we're, we're at the point where I'm like, you can discard safely non-special spades, which is nice. Now, you, you should get molted, I think. And we'll do one last discard here. Hello, honey. Oh, mommy ran out of gifts. That's okay. Come here. You know, this game's all about numbers. You like numbers, right? Like, what's your favorite TV show? Number. number blocks. And what's your favorite number on number blocks? Here, bring your chair over here. You want a gift? We'll see what we can do after daddy finishes this, okay? I think I'm going to lose pretty soon. Yeah. Are you mm, no, after that, I guess I'll, I'll go look for a gift for you. Check this out. Ready? Do you know what this number is? What about this one? 18. 18. Do you know this one? It's 140. Now, do you know what 140 times 18 is? Me neither. That's tough. Let's let the calculator solve it for us. So we put the molt at the front instead of the chips. We got 8 million points. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, honey? 8, 8 million is pretty good. 8 million is a very large number. That's more people than live in Vancouver. And then on that one, we got we got another like 7 million. Almost. So we're, I think we're going to lose here though. Anti-11 is where things get really tough. Yeah, anti is something in card games. It tells you, I think, how much it, it costs to bet on a, on a round. You need help or do I need help? Honestly, I think I need a little bit of help. <laughs> You're going to give me some help? Who's going to give me help? I don't know. I hope I find I hope I find somebody. On this game, you got to help yourself. Oh, I, I don't think there is anyone who can help me. I gotta play all these red cards and then hope that I draw some spades. Cause that was, I mean, that wasn't that bad. It was still a three million point hand. That's still pretty good. And now this hand should be worth like a lot more. Okay, I think we're gonna win. That's exciting, right? That's pretty exciting. So we could hold that in our hand. Maybe we'll get a Jupiter out of it if things get lucky. Uh, maybe we're not going to win. <laughs> Toss all these, and this is just going to be a pair. And then we just need one spade or a wild card. It should be mathematically impossible not to draw one. We drew exactly one. Somebody up there likes us. I guess we drew two, right? Or did we have it last? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm mistaken. Now, you definitely got to go at the front here. Why are you opening up my garbage can? It's going to stink in there. It's bad enough you're sitting next to the garbage can. Then you want to open it up and smell it? I mean, that's crazy talk. 
Okay, here's where things get exciting. We gotta buy it, we gotta sell it. Plus one card slot in the shop, that'll save us money on rerolls. It's a hospital card? Why does it look like a hospital card? Oh, because it has a plus on it. Wow, I wouldn't have even thought of that. It's an ambulance card. I think that maybe, I don't want this to be the case, but it might be the case. We might have to sell Hanging Chad. That's, our, that's one of our jokers. We might have to sell it to get a better joker. Like, I'm kind of going all in right now because I know that the next one is like 300 million or something, right? What does the joker do in the game? The jokers change the rules of the game so that you get more points or like it's easier to make some hands. It's like this joker, normally you need five cards to make a hand. This joker means we only need four because it's only got four fingers on it. One, two, three, four. Four fingers plus one equals five? Yeah. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that at all. Now here's the thing, you might think smeared jokers the play, but I think we need score. And I know that like maybe this is counterproductive or counterintuitive with what I just said. But we really, I feel like we don't need to make it easier to make flushes. We just didn't have any discards last time, which is why it was so hard. What we really need is, is score. Uh, we're gonna lose. <laughs> We need 300 million points. I don't know if there was anything that could be purchased in the shop that had a realistic chance to get us there. It's We're going to have to sell a lot of stuff, that's for sure. What do we have to sell? We got to sell any card we get that isn't... Where are you going? Any card we get that we don't immediately have to use, we gotta sell for sure. You doing okay back there? You're just spinning around in circles. All right, if you if you say so. I ain't mad at you. I said I ain't mad at you. <laughs> it's funny, right? Here, come sit in the chair. I think Daddy's about to lose. I only got 2 million points that time. That's not good. I guess we need more than times 4.5 on this. Please, good cards. I it, I got to throw $18 down the drain. That, that seems crazy to do it, but I, I don't see another way out. $18 down the drain. It doesn't feel funny. It feels like I'm going to lose. Six million, I mean, six million points. Don't let anybody tell you, honey, that six million points is not a good hand, okay? That's still a good hand. Now, I'm just going to say, no disrespect. Obviously, like, this is not going to be worth that many points. This is just me at the end of the show saying, you know what, eights, take a bow. You guys did a great job. Um, I couldn't have done it without you, so, so thanks for your support. That's all I'm saying with that one. And we'll put you up there. And you know, what do we say when we lose? We say good game. Good game, Balatro. We, we fell off the horse a little bit. I feel like we kind of came back with this one. We'll play 10 Jack, Queen, King. And you never... Well, can we... If you see plus 20 come out of this, we got to cheer, okay? We don't have to cheer, but that's okay. I had fun anyway. <laughs> good game, good game. Can you say good game? I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!